Here we have the Trend T5 router. Nice small compact router, um, quarter inch and eight mil capabilities. Now, you might wonder why we have two here. The T5 comes in a couple of variants. We have a normal on off switch version, as you can see, where you just switch it on, switch it off. Or we have another one, which actually has like a dead man's handle. So you pull it to switch it on, and then when you route it, as soon as you let go, it switches off. Now, although you have the same router, slightly confusing with the same model number with two variants, it also comes in a couple of kit forms. So we come in a standard cardboard box, which has, I suppose, the least amount of accessories, or we have a full complement of everything in either the dead man's handle or the normal switch. So the main difference between the two boxes is, yes, you get your collet in it. In fact, in both boxes, you get, uh, in this box here, for example, the bigger boxes, you're getting the quarter and the eight mil, whereas in the smaller box, you're only getting the quarter. Um, when it comes to the bigger kits, you also get uh, a fine height adjuster. So should you want to put it into a router table, it means the fine height adjuster slips, slots through here. When the router's turned upside down, it gives you a fine tuning. So, comes in the box standard with a uh, 20 mil guide bush. Um, all the guide bushes, I've got a 16 mil one here which uh, I tend to use for uh, my hinge jig. As you know, all the guide bushes uh, slot on the bottom and connect with uh, screws. So you can pick and choose your cutters now, all your eight mils or your quarters, whichever you want. Um, and pretty much both of them are exactly the same, that we have the normal three position turret depth stop. We have the depth gauge on the side here. Um, Facility for the bars to go through for a side fence. For plunging, the handle on the side moves, sets the position, twist to lock. Very, very easy. In the box, you get the spanner to go in here, and also you have the spindle lock. So if you press this down, we can then, it locks the spindle through, so we can undo the nut or tighten the nut to put the cutter in or out. T5 is also electronic, variable speed. So you have the variable speed controller up here. Very important as well, when you look in the trend catalogue, you will notice that different cutters do have recommended speeds on them. So it's very important to know what you're working on to actually adjust the speed according to what you're doing.